So, are you still using Layers Manager? Uninstall it. We have the Substratum theme engine. What is that? Well, put in short, it's just the combination of both Layers Manager and Signature Mouse theme engine together, which means no more reboots for each and every themes you apply and more features. So let's get into it. So this is how the app from the inside looks like. When you slide the panel from the left side, you will have the options of theme packs, overlays, boot animation, font packs, sound packs, advanced manager, and whatnot. Now, if you open any theme, you will see the quick apply option for system overlays, third party overlays, custom boot animation, and font packs, as well as sound packs if the theme supports it. Now, if you want to apply the themes only for specific apps, then go towards the overlay manager that allows you to apply themes to specific apps or even all the apps. Now this also allows you to choose primary and accent colors for a few themes. Now few themes have it in default and that is how it has to be. Now at the bottom you have this pop-up menu through which we actually apply the theme and we will talk about it in a while. But before that, we also have two more tabs. That's the boot animation through which you can add the boot animation if the theme has it. And same applies for the font packs as well. If the theme has different varieties of fonts, you can apply it. So, uh, well, this pretty much explains how different this is from the layers manager. So, I have this theme applied. That's the domination theme. Uh, the link is in the description below or you can head towards the bit psycho development community i'll leave all the important links in the description below so you can quickly get access to them and right now i have this theme applied with a different accent and different primary color and the background stuff configured on my own just like i explained before so here i have a few themes that are actually free and some of them are priced we'll come to that soon now if you select a theme and then quickly tap on the system overlays option, the theme engine starts to work on the background to get you the theme. So this is the option that you will get, default or if there is any other option that you want to go for, you can and default means the default theme that has been assigned to this particular theme. Right now I don't need this theme so we disable the installed overlays so it takes a while and then we get back to the theme that we want to apply. Alright, now that the domination theme has been disabled successfully, we can move on to the next theme. So right now for example, I'm just going to be using the biohazard theme and I'm going to be using the quick apply option and not going to go for the overlay manager, but you can go for the overlay manager if you want the theme to be applied only for specific apps. So it's just simple in this as well, you need to compile an update and then install the overlays that were just compiled. Now we're gonna go to quick apply, hit the system overlays and quickly hit the default theme that we want to see. Now the compilation and then installation process may take a while but hey this is still in beta stage and there are lots of updates to come. If you don't like waiting then don't use it but don't speak shit about it because developers work really hard for that. If you see this message that means that the theme has been compiled successfully and the theme installs itself automatically after a system UI restart. Now in this you can see that the navigation bar has been themed and the status bar as well so let's check out what else has been themed. So as you can see we have themed the notification dryer, the navigation bar and to me it looks pretty dope. Now this substratum works only on the ROMs that are OMS compatible. So there are a list of uh, compatible ROMs and uh, themes made and I will link it in the description below. So we have the theme settings as well which looks pretty dope and each uh, theme has its own speciality and again these all work on the substratum theme engine only. Now in addition to the system app theming you also have the Google apps theming if you want to see a proper themed Google Apps, you need to use the theme ready G apps for that. So you might ask what about the old layers and the layers manager. If you type layers manager in the Google Play Store, you will see that it's been deprecated. 
which simply means that the layers manager support has been stopped and it has been moved to the substratum theme engine so we have two types of substratum theme engine one is the normal one which uses the substratum compatible themes and the other one is substratum legacy which supports the layers and hats off to the bit psycho development community and the whole theme substratum for working on this even though they don't really ask for anything show them some love through donations which are always appreciated so here is a google document prepared by one of the members from bit psycho development community you will find lots of such useful links and stuff from the BitCycle community. I'll link it in the description below. It has all the list of compatible ROMs and the list of themes with their download links as well. So a uh, huge thanks for that as well. You'll find all the links in the description below so you don't really have to worry about it. Now before you could jump to any Substratum compatible ROM, be advised that there are not much of themes available at the moment as they are all in beta stage. But you can as well buy a few themes, trust me they are worth buying and it appreciates the developers work as well. So for now that was it, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.